The most popular type of shared web hosting is a cPanel host. And cPanel is just a name for this dashboard that you can see here. And when you log into your hosting, you're presented with this dashboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress using cPanel. Somewhere within your cPanel, you should find Softaculous App Installer. You can also find it further down under Software, and you'll have a Softaculous App Installer link there. It doesn't matter which one you go through. I'm going to go through the link here. What you see when you open the Softaculous App Installer will depend on your web host. But what you're looking for and what you should find is a link to install WordPress. If I look down here, I can see that there is a link to WordPress. This is A2 optimized WordPress. Basically, A2 is my host, so they want to install WordPress using their own optimizations. That's fine by me. Yours, as I said, might look a little bit different, but you're looking for a WordPress link that gives you an install button and you need to click the install button. So we're into the install section and at the top it says choose installation URL. You need to choose the domain that you want to install WordPress on. If you only have one domain in your hosting account, then you'll only have one domain here and you won't have a choice. The protocol, you should try and use HTTPS if you can. If you can't use HTTPS, then I would recommend you talk to your web host and find out why not. See if they support free SSL certificates. But if you select HTTPS and your domain and everything looks okay there, there's no error message, then you're, you're good to go. Next, you need to put in a title for your website and a site description. The site description is going to end up as the tagline. The site name will end up as the title. What you add here is not important because you can go in and you can edit them in the dashboard later. I'm going to just leave them as they are. Scroll down a little bit further and it asks you for your admin username. Don't use admin as your username for security reasons and make sure you use a secure password. I'm going to leave those as default for now. Admin email, make sure that is a valid email address and then choose your site language. You've got a few other options here under advanced. Firstly, the database name, you don't need to change that. It should be random characters anyway to protect you from hackers. And the table prefix should also be random letters. Backup location, default, automated backups. You can choose probably automated backups if you want to. My web host certainly gives me that option. I'm going to do one a month and then I usually keep two or three backups. It only gives me the option of two here, but I would probably normally choose three. So I've got three monthly backups. My backups would then go back three months. Email installation details too. Put in a valid email address there so that the details of the installation will be emailed to you. So I'm going to just pause the video while I go and fill in these details. OK, I'm all done. I'm going to click on the install button. And you can follow the progress. OK, that took a couple of minutes to install, but you can see it says congratulations, the software was installed successfully. It gives you your domain link. If I click on that and open it in a new window, you can see that WordPress is installed. It's a blank copy of WordPress. And also it gives me an administrative URL that I can click to log into the dashboard. That's taking me through a hidden URL so that it protects me. That's part of the optimizations that the A2 web host did when I installed it. But as you can see, WordPress is installed and I can get into the dashboard and start working on my site. 